right, so we are showing you something that isn't happening right now, but it's happening this weekend. And it looked like you had a good time out there, Blake. Yeah, it's yeah. very cool, very lots of fun. Uh, we went to the Thumb this morning just to learn more about the uh, big bash that is known as Cheeseburger in Caseville. 2023 Cheeseburger in Caseville Festival kicks off Friday, August 11th. It's 25 years of all the excitement, the tropical rock, fun, and cool axed, collected and fun uh, mindset. It's just something for everyone here in case. So I have Steve Lowers, who's uh, the chamber president, also event coordinator with me this morning. And we're in front of Walt's restaurant, winner of last year's cheeseburger contest. Can you tell us, or do you remember what that cheeseburger was and, and why the contest is such a big deal? You know, the, the burger itself was called the Ruthie Burger. I can't tell you exactly what was on it, but it was named after uh, the owner's mother who had passed away. Oh. And it was a phenomenal burger. You know, we got to eat, uh, we judged about 20 some burgers and uh, without a doubt it was the favorite burger. And when they win that, we bring them over a banner and uh, good luck to them because uh, <laughs> everybody wants the best burger and um, they did a great job last year. I know they, I know they ran out of beef pretty much every day, wow. but uh, they worked hard and uh, it was fabulous. So do we have a preview at all for this year of what that might look like? Um, cheeseburgers. We, we, yeah, we, we got lots of cheeseburgers, but we can't, we can't disclose any information about what's on these cheeseburgers. All right. We do have quite a few entrants already, and it's all going to take place at 4 o'clock on Friday. By 4.30 or 5 o'clock, by the time the judges get done and get full and eat 25 different hamburgers, <laughs> they'll, uh, they'll bring them the, uh, the banner. And, and like I said, good luck to them because it's a huge increase of their business. Absolutely. And I know you wanted to touch on the increase to, you know, the economy here locally that is, seems to be, you know, a good thing. It's absolutely fabulous. What that does for Caseville, it, I mean, Caseville has been put on the map for quite some time now. It's a great resort town. We're the closer up north. The thing I like about Cheeseburger is that this kind of puts everybody over the edge. And, and uh, as far as the amount of people that come in and see Caseville and you know, I'm also, I actually have another job, like I'm the harbor master, mm -hmm. and uh, I have a real job. And uh, the thing about that is, is that in a 10-day time frame, I've got about 75 to 80 boats coming in and leaving and then coming in to visit for cheeseburger from all, the, all across the bays. Is that extraordinarily higher than usual? That's absolutely very high, yeah. Yeah, we've only got a total of 66 slips, and 33 of them are seasonal slips, so we're basically people are coming in for one, two days, and they're going to get their cheeseburgers and spend some money in Caseville, and then they're going to turn around, and we'll get another set in the next day. You can't beat that. That's perfect. Okay, so 10 days of just fun and, you know, so much to expect. What are other highlights of the festival that you often see people looking forward to? A lot of people like the, uh, the, the the venue of music. You know, there's a lot of genres of music, but tropical rock is uh, just such a fun theme. It's, you know, basically uh, uh, your laid back style music, you know, toes in the sand. And of course, there's some Jimmy Buffett music and things like that in there. But uh, we've got trap rock bands coming from all over the country. We also have classic rock bands. We've got an Elvis tribute, but we have a high school steel drum band that'll be performing this Saturday. Also, uh, we've got a band called Third Degree Burns, which is young kids that are learning how to play music, and they're going to come and perform on the following Saturday. So uh, lots of entertainment. Of course, you don't want to miss our parade on Wednesday. I mean, the town has 670 people year-round, and then we bring in upwards of 40,000 people for the, for the giant parade, which takes about two hours, and I know one float's going to be 165 feet long. I was telling you earlier, so that's over half a football field. Oh my gosh, yeah, so you'll have to come check it out just to see that in person. I can't imagine that. Uh, so Steve, this is great. I, I just want to say anything else that you want our viewers to know or people at home before they come out? Bring your kids, you know, uh, without a doubt, because it's, uh, I feel it's the largest family festival, fam family oriented festival in the state of Michigan. Yeah. We have well over 50 kids events. It all starts this Sunday. We have a free kids day with inflatables games, we have face painters, we have uh, a huge petting zoo, kids can ride Clydesdale, a Clydesdale horse, and things like that, and uh, you know, grandma, grandpa, bring your grandkids, ma, dad, bring your kids, and uh, it's, it's uh, fun for all ages. What would you say, I guess, um, you're looking forward to the most? Um, 
detente. <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, you sound like you get a lot of sleep yeah. during the, right. the year. Right. <laughs> um, you know what? We couldn't do it, though, without all the help of we've got great volunteers, our DPW and our city of Caseville. My wife, who's the office manager, along with the office employees that work here, and, you know, we were just talking. We, you know, we work on this year-round long, and, and uh, all the businesses get together, and they come up with some great events that attract customers into their stores. And uh, I'm looking forward to the whole thing. And uh, like I said, when I mean the 10th day, it's, uh, it is a lot of stress, and, uh, uh, but it's, it's, it's always fun to watch the conclusion of it. And a lot of happy people leaving Caseville. Well worth it. Well worth it. Well worth it. Any parting words? Well, you know, I'm uh, 60 years old, and I've got this torch here, and I've been part of this festival since the inception, and I've been actually running it for about 19 years. And um, if anyone would be interested in taking my job over, <laughs> I'd, love, I'd love, love to have you. <laughs> By the way, it's volunteers. <laughs> His laugh is pretty infectious. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's a great guy. And like you were telling me um, while we were watching some of the cheeseburgers that they plan on having there, they sound so good. Yeah. I can't divulge that information. Oh, it's top secret. It's top secret. I didn't know. Yeah. So, uh, but um, <laughs> it definitely makes me want to go. So. Yeah, I want to go too. So just take our word for it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, of course, that kicks off on Friday the 11th. It goes through the 20th. Mm -hmm. Ten days. Oh, nice. Uh, it's going to be a good time. All right, let's take